Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review new modern fountain pens. This episode will be quite special because it features a new publication in my country, Romania, from a large um, newspaper, a national newspaper, and they recently launched this small magazine which is called Stilor de Collectie, in English, Collectible Fountain Pens. This is the first number of the magazine. It's called The Hemingway, and it is uh, at a promotional price of 19.90 uh, lays, which means uh, approximately 4.02 euros or 4.60 56 American dollars. So this is the first number at a discounted price, let's say. In two weeks, it will be followed by another fountain pen, but uh, that one will be sold at 49.90, so around 10.09 euros, or 11.42 American dollars. I'm uh, quite excited to show you the content of this quite quite surprising surprising magazine because to my knowledge there are not many fountain pen collectors in Romania and I think that this magazine is focused more on the um, history of the fountain pen and not particularly in uh, collecting fountain pens what is quite interesting the the number so this first number contains the fountain pen and the other numbers of um, this series contain other other fountain pens you can see i will show you this first fountain pen but uh, judging by the pictures uh, i can see on the back of it I think they are high quality fountain pens. I presume they are made in China, but we will see about their build quality. So this is the first number Hemingway and it will be followed by a fountain pen called Argenta, all in a silver, metallic silver, at a price, like I told you, of 49.90. So around 10 euros or approximately 12 American dollars. So, without any delay, I will try to put this on here. And uh, I can take out the fountain pen. So, I will leave the fountain pen last, guys, because I'm quite curious to see the content of the magazine. And I will try to translate as good as I can each and every article for you to have an idea about this interesting fountain pen launched in Romania on Valentine's Day, so on the February the 14th, 2022. So this is the pen. I will show it to you in a minute. And of course I will review it and uh, also provide a writing sample with it. But till then, let me take out the magazine, which is glued on on this. Okay. So now, this one I will take out of the picture. And let me show you, show it to you, the beautiful content of, oh, I think, oh, yes. So they are two. Uh, I think this is the first number, number one, and this is a brochure on the other fountain pens. So, they seem to be quite, quite nice. On uh, this page we have uh, collectible fountain pens, and here, enjoy the pleasure of writing. Let me see here. Yes. So, each uh, two weeks a new fountain pen the price of the second fountain pen called argenta 49.99 where i thought it was 
<laughs> I'm not so sure. Let me see. Yes. So they uh, don't know 49.90 or 49.99. This is a little mistake, but this is me. I'm. Uh, I uh, look at every detail. So the number two at uh, this price. So again, around 10 euros or 12 American dollars. Let me show you the whole collection, guys, for you to have an idea what I'm t what talking about. Oh, what a nice, nice thing. You can, could also reserve a um, tray, you can see here. And I'm not so sure about the capacity of it, but the retail price is uh, 199.99 lace. So around only 40 euros, this is quite, quite nice. Maybe I can reserve it. So in total, there will be 40 fountain pens. And if we make a small sum, so 50 multiplied by the number of 40 fountain pens, so around 500 euros. So quite, quite expensive again, but there are 40 writing instruments. Quite nice, let me show you the other part of the magazine so nice these are one uh, the models so olive magnus silver lit mirage empire majestic classic moonlight artemis horizon smooth i'm quite curious to see maybe i can find out who is the producer of the fountain pens so the history of writing the pleasure of writing and the art of fountain pens quite quite nice so yes i believe this is the promotional brochure and let's look also at the first number of the collection so again collectible fountain pens the pleasure of writing and the first number hemingway so on the on the cover is this fountain pen Okay, let me see what the first number is all about. So, I'm not so sure. Let me zoom on it, guys, for you to see. So, we have collectible fountain pens and It was issued in Madrid, I think. Hmm, interesting. So on the first number, we have the history of writing, first chapter, handwriting on art. The second chapter, the art of fountain pens. Okay, from a feather to fountain pen, legendary marks and fountain pens that made history and the last one is the pleasure of writing Ernst Hemingway so nice that they choose an author you know this marketing technique also applied by the famous Mont Blanc brand let me see so the first uh, the writing pen as an art and they are nice nice pictures of the evolution of handwriting from asian time to middle to different regions the art of the letters different type of writings in history and this is the evolution from so from uh, this instrument to the fountain pen and it's quite nice you can see the term in spanish so and in other languages 
Okay. We have an iconic fountain pen here. We have a Parker Vacumatic on this page. And on the other page we have a nice, nice commercial from the, for the Waterman Ideal Fountain Pen. Fountain pen made in the USA. Now a nice article about collecting fountain pens. So they have everything, they have thought of everything. And uh, an article of the famous author Ernst Hemingway amid of uh, universal literature and the back of this magazine. So a wonderful, wonderful magazine, guys. For the first number, I repeat, only 19.19 lays or 4.02 euros or 4.56 American dollars, which is quite, quite a nice price, especially for the beautiful, beautiful magazine. And now the main point of these videos, guys, the fountain pen. So it comes in this plastic box, as you can see. We have a sticker back on it, Hemingway, and uh, a code uh, number, quite, quite shiny, but is, uh, it is cardboard, so not so special. It is uh, protected by a little uh, material, quite nice, it holds it nice. You can put your fingers here to is extract it from its place. This is the fountain pen. At first glance, it seems to be quite, quite a heavy fountain pen. It's definitely a metallic fountain pen. We have uh, two sections that are painted with this black lacquer and the other ones, uh, the middle section, which is the same tone of, of the silver like the trims, like uh, this clip and the ending of it. You can see we have a flat ending on the cap and again a flat ending on the barrel. And I think it has something in it. I presume a ink cartridge we will see in a moment. Let me open it. So let me see. Yes, we have a pressure fit cap and quite, quite a nice build. Just look at it, guys. Quite, quite nice. So, we have a iridium point steel nib. So nice that it has also the iridium tipping. And now I'm curious to see the inside of the barrel, which unscrews. And let me see. So, yes, I was right. It's on ink ink cartridge so this fountain pen is not delivered with an ink converter and of course i will test it to see if uh, this is a chinese proprietary cartridge or it is an international size ink cartridge we will see about that let me put it for a moment here and you can see the build quality is quite, quite nice. The barrel is metallic. It seems quite nice finished. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm quite glad. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the quality of this fountain pen. The only problem I don't like is this plastic part, which is uh, the weak point of the fountain pen. Of course, it can be easily broken uh, if it's not treated right. So uh, if you bent it like this, this could uh, break. Again, the nib is quite, quite nice, quite nice floral designs, lines to it, quite nice. The back is a simple feeder with uh, a number thermically imprinted on it, one. It appears quite nice. So guys, 
Another thing that I don't particularly like, but it's not on this fountain pen, but all of the fountain pens, you can see that one thing that I like, it's this uh, ring, which offers a grip point to it. Of course, we have different material here. We have a black material, but it doesn't of offer the grip that uh, I need. It seems quite slippery. So I will focus only at the ending of it, which you can see it has this small canal and this ring, which is quite, quite nice. So a gripping point. So again, guys, I like that they worked on the different layers at the ending of the grip for, uh, for this... Um, Utility, utility purpose to hold it quite quite nice but I don't like that they chrome this part and be careful guys if you will buy a fountain pen like this don't let the ink accumulate on this metallic part because you will see it will corrode the ink uh, if it will be left there for a long period of time and this metallic part will suffer. In fact, I had, uh, believe it or not, a Pelican M800, which had that problem, and uh, that gold-plated ring had to be removed. And if you want to see that video, I will uh, leave it at the end of this. Okay guys quite quite nice let me put the cap back on and uh, let me see if we have a spring a clip yes it's quite a stiff clip but it's nice it has the those little elements of design but again a stiff stiff clip I'm quite pleased with the appearance of this fountain pen. And guys, just for a comparison, I have here also a Mont Blanc 146, a Meisterstück from 1983. And you can see them side by side. Let me show them to you. Yes, you can see that our fountain pen, the Hemingway fountain pen, is a little bit smaller. And of course, we compare our fountain pen, which has a ink converter or an ink cartridge with the piston filling mechanism of the Mont Blanc. So, this was the comparison between the two models. I will also leave the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen. And after that, I will do the writing sample. And of course, I will check out if it's compatible with the ink converters or ink cartridges international size ink converters and international size ink cartridges but before that i will uh, change the angle of the camera guys for you to have a better view so guys i've just changed the angle of the camera and now i'm ready to see it in action first of all like I promised, I will use the original ink cartridge which was uh, included, but let me test with uh, using the Schneider ink cartridges if it's compatible with international size ink cartridges. So this Schneider box contains cartridges made in Germany and they are international size. So just for... Um, Checking it out. Let me see. Yes, I have a Schneider here. I'm uh, just testing it, so uh, you won't hear that click sound. I'm just 
trying to see if it's comp if if it's compatible and yes it appears to be compatible in fact let me compare it with the one provided in um, the um, magazine so it's interesting guys that if you watch my channel you are familiar with this type of ink cartridge that has uh, those plastic rings at the bottom of them so it's definitely a fountain pen made in china i'm not so sure about the producer but i suspect that because of the quality of this piece it could maybe it is a, a special order done by Jin Hao, but I'm not so sure, guys. Maybe you can give me your thoughts on the comments. Uh, what fountain pen uh, manufacturer in China pro produces this type of fountain pen or has the cap capability of producing this type of fountain pen? And uh, especially you can look at the nib, at the... Um, feeder uh, and uh, the overall uh, quality of the metallic pieces so guys definitely a chinese manufacturer and i'm pleased to announce you that this fountain pen can use international ink cartridges and i presume also ink converters i didn't test the ink converters compatibility but if it works with an ink cartridge it should work also with a converter uh, why not i have here a converter but uh, this is not an international converter so um, yes it is a proper proprietary converter from ihow i think another chinese manufacturer but uh, let me test it with its own ink cartridge you heard that click sound this is a good sound so guys you know the procedure when i have a new fountain pen and i insert this ink cartridge for the first time you, we have to wait for two or three minutes till the ink reaches the nib section but we don't have time and I will apply gentle pressure on the cartridge for the ink to be okay. And you can see it writes for the first time. Quite nice. I'm, uh, hmm, I don't know. Yes, it holds quite nice here. No problems. Let me put the barrel back on. And now let me do the writing sample before i will do the writing sample let me test if i can post it yes it can be posted i don't recommend posting it because you can see here we have metal indeed if you look carefully down there we have a plastic part a white plastic part and in fact that plastic part assures the uh the cap to be quite firmly fixed on the barrel in time indeed that plastic part will uh, fail and probably we will see scratches developed there so don't use it kept of course being a metallic fountain pen it is quite nice to write with it unkept because it will be more more lighter that way okay so let me show you to you so this is the Hemingway this is the Hemingway fountain pan I presume made in China made in china we have a steel nib uh, 
uh, iridium tip and judging by the size of it I think it's a M for a medium medium nib uh, this is an open nib let me show you the flexiness test the flex test so no flex to it let me test the pressured yes you can see no line variance no line variance let me see how juicy it is and okay it doesn't bother me it's certainly not a dry dry uh, fountain pen let me do also a signature with it uh, yes due to the fact that we don't have so many jews i'm like i'm not quite pleased about the signature but it works like you see and let me try to reverse write with it so reverse writing yes definitely a possibility yes it writes uh, here like an extra fine or a fine in comparison with the m medium that it uh, writes uh, normally but you can see we have a loss of ink flow N not a scratchy nib but just a loss of ink flow so definitely reverse writing possibility but for short se uh, sessions of writing and now let me tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so quite quite a nice nib um, it is i won't call it a very smooth nib but it does its job it doesn't scratch it has a decent ink flow so i think a quite quite nice fountain pen at a nice quality and again at a quite quite affordable price at least for the first number because the other numbers will be sold again at 10 euros or 12 american dollars including the magazine which is quite interesting so what can i say to you guys if you have uh, trips in romania just look it up at uh, the um, stores where they wait where that uh, they s uh, sell uh, magazines and newspapers and maybe you can own yourself a quite quite decent made chinese fountain pen and uh, uh, maybe you can google translate the magazine on your flights on when or when you come on a business trip or uh, in uh, Romania so guys uh, thank you for your time as always I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are so tell me what you think guys about this episode if you want me to continue to buy a uh, new fountain pens at these prices so uh, 10 euros or 12 American dollars on each uh, two weeks so um, two fountain pens amounts just write uh, in the comments and maybe i will buy them all and show them to you of course at the end i will have 40 new fountain pens and 40 magazines at a price of uh, 2000 lei so around 500 euros and with 500 euros i can buy myself a really really nice vintage fountain pen so i'm on a dilemma here guys uh, i will certainly look in consideration uh, all your comments and maybe i will make the right decisions decision so thank you for your time have a nice day if you've liked this 
presentation of the magazine and the beautiful Hemingway fountain pen. Please subscribe to my channel. I want to wish you all the best and God bless. Bye-bye.